welcome to the Gang Young Curling Center, home of wheelchair curling at the Pyeongchang 2018 Paralympic Winter Games. This is round robin session number 11, and our feature matchup is a North American battle, Canada versus United States of America. Humidity is slightly higher than it has been during this championship. Might mean some challenging ice conditions for these athletes. But you are about to see the winningest nation in the history of the Paralympic Games. That's Team Canada. Their lead is Marie Wright. She's from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Playing second is Dennis Thiessen from Sanford, Manitoba. Ina Forrest is their third and vice skip. She's from Armstrong, British Columbia. Good morning, Canada. Skip Mark Idison. He throws the fourth stones. He's from London, Ontario. And representing the United States of America. On sheet C, Switzerland versus Lee, Penny Greeley from Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> Throwing second stones, Justin Marshall from Evansville, Wisconsin. Good morning, everyone back home. Stay safe with the snow today. Throwing third stones and Hello, playing vice skip from Manchester, Germany Connecticut, Steve Emp. Kirk Black is the skip. He throws the fourth stones. He splits his time between Madison, Wisconsin and San Antonio, Texas. Games will begin shortly. 35 countries around the world played a sport of wheelchair curling. 12 nations have qualified to be here at this Paralympic Games. You can look at the standings. Sitting on top, People's Republic of China, Republic of Korea. And there's a tight battle for third place. Canada's in there. USA looking to find their groove down towards the bottom of the stats. You can see how Canada got here. They opened with incredibly strong wins against Switzerland, Norway, and Sweden. Stumbled a little bit, got back to their winning ways against China. One, two, three. Canada. It's go Canada time. You can see they're joined from the bench by Jamie Anseo and their coach, Wayne Keel. This is the fortunes of the USA. Tough go so far with only one win. This team has played incredibly well, just hasn't had the timing they were looking for. They get supported from the bench by Megan Lino and their coach, Rusty Shiver. You can see we're on sheet B. It's one of the center sheets. The ice has been curling just a ton. Lots of movement from outside to in. These athletes are going to be looking to capitalize on that tonight. And there was a practice before this game. Each team gets nine minutes. And at the end of those nine minutes, two players from each team throw what's called a last stone draw, where they throw an open shot to the center of the rings, and whoever's closest, whoever has the two closest stones, gets the last stone advantage in the first end. Thank you. And after an extraordinary shot by Steve M, 5.2 centimeters, USA will have the hammer. That means Marie Wright opens it for Canada. some of the technique rules for wheelchair curling. All the wheels must be on the ice at all times while the player is throwing, and their feet must be off it. So there's a little bit of technique. You can throw with your hand in a traditional delivery, or you can use a delivery stick or cue. All of these athletes That's here tonight six. use the delivery stick.
Penny Greeley gets USA underway. Right, Penny. Solid kick right, out, and she sits right on top of that Ajito symbol. The logo of the Paralympics that's right in the center of those concentric circles. And that's the scoring area. It's called the house. Marie Wright's going to look to try and duplicate the shot from USA's lead. A little bit of forceful extension there. That rock's got nice rotation. It's starting to pick up the natural movement of the ice. Hits right on the nose of that stone and sticks around in the forefoot. That red ring's called the forefoot for obvious reasons. It's four feet in diameter. And then the white ring is the eight foot. And it's surrounded by the 12 foot. These teams keeping it a little bit open this first end. Very normal. This is a big game for Team Canada. They are sitting in that third position in the standings. In order to solidify their hopes for that post round robin play and to keep their perfect Paralympic record intact. And by perfect Paralympic record, they've won all the gold medals. Dennis Thiessen's going to try his hand at a takeout to open the game. And to keep Canada in its winning ways. That zone just never quite get, gets out to his target. Never quite gets out to where he needed to. And this gives USA a chance to split the rings, create some separation between their rocks. And set up a potential score of multiple points. So Justin Marshall gets his first rock of the game. He had a bit of a shaky start to the tournament, but has settled in nicely. He's the youngest member of Team USA. This is his first Paralympic Games, and the walk. environment is 13, huge. Three. Those first games, there had to be a little bit of jitters. You know, they're off. They're gone. He's making shots with real confidence and ease at this point. So there's that trajectory. You can see Canada skip, setting the target. That's where Dennis needs to get the, his rock out to at the beginning of the shot. So he's lined up and sent his stone on the way at that target. And then based on the rotation of the rock, you can see that's got a lot of rotation. That's gonna hold the rock straighter in trajectory and also give it a little bit of extra speed. He accomplishes the primary goal, but rolls out of play. And USA's got a chance to put another rock in the ring. Just split him on, that's okay. So there's a couple of different techniques that you're gonna see. There's a couple of nice different line, delivery Justin. cues as well. <laughs> Sit. Settle. No, you're fine. So this Settle. rock's Wait, coming into the house, really starts to curl. Weight looks really good. So the weight is the momentum or the pace, yeah, speed of the rock. Okay. And okay, not only is it pretty good, it's covering the button, which is the center of those concentric circles, the house. So now this is a double takeout. We're gonna see two-time Paralympic gold medalist, Ina Forrest, lining up her shot
she's one of those athletes that makes some of the most specific choices. Her setup looks exactly the same every time she throws the rock and thereby kind of limits the variables that she's dealing with as an athlete. And that rock runs a little straight. Doesn't quite get to the nose of yep. the rock. They were hoping to make a double takeout, but it does open up the center of the ice and that playing surface. Like 12 it gives Team Canada 12 access to that U.S. stone, maybe on their next shot. Steve Empt. Third stones, vice skip, emotional leader for Team USA. Legs, come on, get there. Very nice. This is good. 1382. 13-5. Draws a rock into the house. Get on. That's a great spot. It's a tough double takeout 13. for Canada. If they were to make the double, they'd lose their shooter out of play. Idison knows that he's going to ask Ina Forrest for just a hit and a roll. Ina locks down the wheels of her chair, and her second comes in behind and helps stabilize. So the, the more still and solid they are at their base, then all the momentum comes from the upper body, goes out through the cue, and into the so into the stone, down the ice. Shot on. Really steady and repeatable motion. And that's a great hit. They'd love it to roll a little bit more, but that's a great takeout. Yep. And USA's third has been playing takeouts with a high level of proficiency. Really solid performance from Steve Empt on takeouts. He's played all around very well. This USA team is, has truly played well. Uh, their record of one and five doesn't really show what this team is capable of. I think some of it comes down to not how many shots you make, it's which ones you make and when. And with that one, that's a nicely timed shot. Those rocks are getting closer together and Canada might have a chance at a double takeout. Mark Edison makes his way down the sheet of ice. Ina said it felt a little more gravelly underneath. Mark's got a couple of uh, interesting rituals with the sport of curling. He keeps a good luck charm that he puts somewhere near the ice. His good luck charm is a Canadian dollar. It's a loony. Let's hope this one is a doozy. Nice one. Curl, curl, curl. Nice shot. Got it, bud. Executes that shot perfectly. He's going to hope for a USA miss, though. The way things are lined up now, USA is set to score two. All things being equal, and if they execute out. So USA skip Kirk Black. The Texan. Not often do you hear curlers coming from areas in the deep south. 
Kirk found his way to curling, connected with it, and now he's here at his first Paralympic Games. Hey there. Hey. Hey. Get a little nice roll. roll. Captain roll. of right the U.S. team as it's skip. Kirk. And it's always good to get that first rock out of uh, out of the way, out of your hand and down the ice, and to execute it perfectly sets the tone for how you might play for the game. Now this time Canada's going to look for the roll. They really want to move this rock to a different spot in the ice. Challenge USA as much as possible. So make USA look at something different. Shot mark. Nice See that? So he hits and he rolls out to the side. Now that's the count stone. It's closest to the center of the circles. So. If you were to stop right now, Canada would take a single point. Same USA's way got broke. the last rock. But they're throwing in a spot that no <sighs> one's seen yet in the game. So this is a bit of an experiment. They did get to see this in practice, but you never know exactly what shots you're going to face in the game. And if the ice conditions change subtly from practice to play, This is a big shot for USA. Coming in nicely. And just to put a little flourish on top, rolls that right back to the center. That's one of the nicest opening ends USA's had at the Paralympics. Beautifully played. Perfect. 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 Okay. You're up too, second end. After one, Canada takes the hammer. They're down two. And there you have it. It's a great game so far. USA playing 100%, taking advantage of their hammer. They hang two points on the board. It's going to be Canada's turn with that last stone advantage. And they're going to look to do the same thing, maybe even hang a couple of more. Five, six. Penny Greeley gets her stone away. She's a social worker. She trains out of the Green Bay Curling Club. Very nice, Penny. 12-5. 12-4. <coughs> nice stone, Penny. An excellent all-around athlete. She's already got a Paralympic medal. It's in sitting volleyball. She's a summer Paralympian as well. This is Marie's first Paralympic Games. She said one of her proudest moments in her life was being named to Team Canada for these games. She's not happy with that one. She is happy to be part of Team Canada. She accomplishes the goal though. She gets some production out of that shot. That Shouldn't be too, too disappointed. We've got a wide open field to play for Penny Greeley's second rock. Very nice. You gotta like well, it when you're still nice, calling well, down well, to you. Very nice, and your rock hasn't even stopped yet. I'll get out to it, Mark. 
Marie's going to be given a chance for a redo. She looks a little happier with this one. Line looks good. And it is. Good shot, Marie. So the architect, Justin Marshall, Very nice. looking to design a different color rock in the house. USA's rock. Canada's tactics have been pretty clear this entire tournament. They take very few risks out there. They know that they're going to execute these basic shots. They have incredible confidence in themselves and how they're going to throw and what they're going to do. And they've really just, with solid precision and a pretty high level of accuracy, waited for other teams to make a mistake. Now you saw what it took to score two points on him. USA had to play 100% in that opening end. Could still do a center guard. What's that? No. Could do a center guard. Just yeah. drop it in? Drop it yep. In. All right. OK, everyone's going to be cautious. Draw it on to that back one. A couple of alternate possibilities out there for USA. <clears throat> but they're going to stick with their game plan. Or no? This is a clockwise rotating rock. You can rotate the rock clockwise or counterclockwise. And it'll go in the direction that you are rotating. 13 to 5. You can see the leading edge of the stone. And it starts to arc at the end as it slows down. That's the great challenge of this game. Managing the curl. Managing the weight and speed of the ice. Now with that miss by USA, <laughs> Team Canada changes its tactics and they go from defense to offense. And they're going to try and turn it on and put the pressure on. 13, Dennis. A 12 and a half, Dennis. rock needs to dig in a little bit and slow down and it's not gonna it goes right through the back and once it's all the way over that line in the back of the field of play it's team. out split them on I'm gonna split them or you want to come around it just draw around it we'll try to come around it but if you yep. don't you split them on that's okay got it that was 13-2 so some feedback, 12, five. lots of discussion. 12, eight, five, two. So in the early games for USA, Steve Emp stayed on the other end of the ice unless he was throwing. Um, they made a kind of positional change and had him come back down to the other end. And it was to create energy and pull some communication back and forth for Team USA. Keep moving kind of up their energy a little bit. 13-5. 13-5. 
Now Rock just sneaks into the top of the rings. That's good control position for Team USA. Canada's not going to like that, and they're not going to let that stay. You can see that staggered setup in front of the scoring area. Canada wants to move the control from Team USA back into their corner. So this is uh, to move a couple of stones. Shot, Ina. Ina's gonna need a bit of weight. She over curls and sets up a guard for Five, the USA six. rock Five, in the ring. And it's not what Canada wanted. They wanted to remove Thirteen. both those rings and open up the scoring area. Oh, a little more room now because that guard's over this much more. Kirk, give me a little bit more, please. Thank you. So whenever you get a chance as an athlete in any kind of sport to duplicate the exact thing you just did, say in basketball, you get two free throws. Your second one's almost always better. So this is that kind of an opportunity for Steve End. He gets to throw the same draw in the same path, essentially, and he's gonna try and make it a little bit better on this second time. All right, butter high, come on, come on. 13, 1, 2, 1, Come 5. On. Come on. Get over. Nice shot, Steve. Good shot, Steve. And he has no trouble making that one a little bit better. It was a great process of information, the speed of the ice, how to make an adjustment. Now Canada's chasing a little bit. That was a 13. So just to it? I can bump it? Yeah. I can bump yeah. it? Yeah. A 12 and a half, 13. Okay. So this is a bit of a dangerous situation for Canada. This is a very pivotal rock here. USA line two behind a center guard and Canada is going to try and freeze or tap that stone that's in the forefoot. The line looks really good. She comes down, taps it, opens up the scoring area. USA still count in the back of the forefoot, but Canada's created a little bit of space for their skip and his last two stones. USA skip is gonna hit and roll, try and roll under cover and uh, take away that space. So he lines up, his eye right behind his hand, right behind the stone. You can keep the trajectory as accurate as possible. Hold that right there, hold right it. There. Stay, right there. There. Stay there. Right there. Stay there. Stay, stay, stay. Little block. Beauty, Kirk. It's good. And now with those two USA stones sitting in the back on the other side, it gives a, a little bit of backing for Mark Eidison yeah. to no come to. Over there on that side. You can see they wanted that stone to hit a little bit more of the object rock, a little bit more of that Canadian red stone. Rolls a little too far. USA still got three rocks in the rings. It's looking good. But remember, Canada has that all important last stone advantage. They've got the hammer. And this setup. If their skip can put a rock 
right into that forefoot, right on top of the USA Stones. The USA Stones will hold it into play. It'll be very difficult to remove. This rock comes down. You can see it curling. It looks like it's curling too much. Weight was good. Yeah. Just didn't quite have the right line. It's going to be a tough situation for Canada and their last stone. Yep, I like this one here. You want to guard it or come around it? I like that too. Two, three. Zone two. That seems like a, yeah, I think yeah, it comes. A little bit less. A little less. Yeah, I think still a little less. Two, three. So USA is elected to try and guard that red stone that Team Canada Divine. just threw. And they're trying to guard it so that they and that Team Canada doesn't have any access to tap that stone up. So this rack needs to get over that thick red line in the ice. That's called the hog line. It's kind of the entry into the field of play. Right about there. What's up? We'll tap this one. <coughs> tap or do you want to just draw? Oh. If you don't get by that, you get the wrong angle. You just clip on there, right? Because we've got to get in here. So he's got against three. He needs more ice okay. than that. Yep. Where'd you want to be? Oh, okay. So, after a little bit of discussion between the skip and the vice skip, Skip had thought about maybe playing a tap, and the vice skip with lots of experience. Remember, this is her third wow. Paralympic Games. She has been a member of Team Canada for many seasons. Need, need four foot. She reminds him that it might just be easier to play a draw instead of the tap. <clears throat> he had just thrown a draw, and the weight was really nice. He just didn't have the line on the other side of the ice. Now he's going to look to put this rock in. That's where he's aiming, the edge of the 12 foot. And he needs a precision shot. He needs to be fully into the forefoot to take a point. But he needs a bit of the eight foot, a little bit better. Cut USA down, and he might have done it. That's a great shot against a ton of pressure. He might have cut into one. I think, so. I think it's one. The thirds are going to take a look at these stones. So remember, the scoring and curling. Only one team scores at the end of each end, and it's the team with the rock closest to the center of the house. We'll if you've got more than you one, take that. Right. it's all right. One, two, it's all good. You can take that. Exactly, yeah. Move this one too, right? Move this. So they know it's one for sure for USA. Now it's just whether or not it's a second no point. We, uh, we know how to come back. Yeah. Get it? It's, it's close. I'd like to say it's yellow, but it's close. So this is one of the only times no, in the game red. where yeah, the official I, I really I we comes oh, involved bad. in the game <laughs> in the sport of curling. I said I'd like to say. So this is a yeah, measure. Yeah. So you'll see that there is an adjustable pressure gauge. And this will determine know, right? which rock is closer to the center <laughs> of that, it, it, of yeah. those yeah. rings. It's close. Yeah, I think it is pretty close. You can see on the dial. 
It goes to the first mark. Nope. And this one doesn't touch. So that means yep. Canada's yep. closer than U.S. Yep. Nice draw, Mark. Good job, Mark. With that really nice draw from under a ton of pressure. Mark Idison holds USA to one. And he retains the hammer going into the third end. USA. That's the overall accuracy. USA really on fire tonight. But it's early in the game. Lots of ends left, as you can see. We've played two. We're in the third. USA opening with two points and then followed it up with a steal of a single point. They get a goal first five. again. Yep. Five, six. Very nice, Penny. Nice stone. Nice shot, Greeley. Yep. Penny's really just playing very, very steady. And with that, now remember the last two ends. Okay. Team Canada chose to hit that stone. Now they're switching their tactics. What they were doing before wasn't working. I love this kind of recognition that your tactics aren't getting you what you are trying to accomplish, not getting you where you need to go. So they're gonna change it up. Marie Wright's job's gonna be to come down, sit right on top of that stone, maybe tap it back a bit. It was great weight, just pass. maybe a little bit oh. too much line. Can I get a little more? Can you see it? So, the sharp shooting Penny Greeley is going to look to take out that stone that Hold. just landed Hold. in the back of the rings. This one's curling a ton. And no, no production there for the US. Same thing. You can already see how the change Same of way. tactics by Team Canada is working in their favor. That kind of recognition uh, is really one of the things that makes them such a dominant nation in curling. looks like to have a bit better line than the last shot if she's got the same weight Canada's going to be sitting very pretty oh is that good that stone is very tough to get rid of just hit this one I like the way them figure out how USA to get two. thinking here just hit the back one okay. hit the open one you just saw that line, you saw Take the trajectory, one. you know how to make it. At some point, okay. Canada's going to have to make a play on those stones in the center of the rings. Maybe they'll do it early and give you an opportunity. There you go. 
And now it's choice. It's choice time. Are you going to put another one in there? Are you going to play Looks the tap like right now? Ring, same weight as Marie. This might be a hair early for this. You could choose to put a rock out into the edges where USA was just playing takeouts and get back to this center a little bit later. This is an opportunity for Dennis to kind of get back in the groove here. Struggling just a bit in this game. That works. And this zone ends up being a little bit light, but again, it goes into the scoring area, creates some difficulty for USA. They're going to try to address it right away. Touch less. Yeah. And USA Skip is playing with a, a confidence and at a pace with an authority that we haven't quite seen consistently throughout the tournament. Yes, Justin, beautiful. Eight, nine. <clears throat> so, and that kind of energy coming from the skip, from the leader of your team, really, really motivates throughout the lineup and helps make shots like this for Justin Marshall same, a little bit way. easier. He knows his Talking skip, knows what, they, what the game plan is and how they want to accomplish it. He's hit bumping just a bit. No, not much. Probably 12 hey, Ina. So the longtime Team Canada member from the Assiniboine Club in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Adds a little bit more momentum on this stone. You can see it's running straighter than the last one. Line looks good. Just looking to tap that Canada stone that's in the button. Oh, it just slips by. That added momentum, maybe they added a little bit of yep. extra line or space. Even so if we were to come close. on and sit on it. Yeah. Nothing lost. I kind of like that better. It's a 13, no? Uh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. <laughs> Two, three. They're on like a thir 14 or 13, five. Two, three. So after that miss, USA is going to try and guard things up, block access into those rings. That rock might be a little long, but it is a visual impediment. Just when you're looking eight. down the ice at that Same situation, that rock is definitely in the way. But Team Canada knows you can get around. So as the player on the other end, you just have to have faith. You have to believe, even if you can't see the stone you're trying to hit, that there's enough space. Your job is to line up hit that target set by your skip, throw the weight requested, and let the outcome be the outcome. The stone over curling. Gonna rack on the top stone. Now, Ina Forest rocks, this is the third time in a row that it's over curled. You don't know if she needs to talk about lineup, maybe give give her a little bit more ice, maybe put a little more weight. The other option could be that that stone's curling a hair more than the rest of the sheet. Each of these stones are unique. Hey, you like going this way instead? No, I like this. 
Each of the stones are unique. They're granite. They come from the island of Elsa Craig off the coast of Scotland. And the island is a, is a federally protected bird sanctuary that they open up for about six weeks a year for the mining of the granite. Thank you. Yeah, I agree there. It's over. <laughs> USA again Ten. trying to block Ten. that access into the scoring area. Ten. And that guard's sitting a little bit long again. Ina Four is going to get a chance. She comes through that port. So there's enough space for a rock and a half, maybe two rocks through that port. She's going to be asked to navigate it. She's going to throw a little bit more weight so that it holds the rock straighter. And if she makes this, USA is going to have a tough little access. Canada could be sitting a couple of stones right on the forefoot. This needs to hold the line. It's, oh, just wraps on the guard. Good weight, Ina. Yeah, I mean middle? Just a little unlucky yeah. there on middle. the line. Middle. middle 12? Yep. Half an inch more Love space, crowd, one centimeter more space. She gets by, That's and great. Canada's sitting two, completely buried under cover. So the game of his life right now. You can see it, the statistics don't lie. He's playing 100% on draws, on takeouts. Now he's looking for 100% production out of a guard. And this one's curling a little early. That's no good. And comes up a little bit light. Now remember we talked about that thick red line in the ice, that's, that's the hog line. Like if a stone does not like get that, all the way over 10. that, it gets okay. taken out of play. Okay. So this is kind of the fortunes of Team USA that, that have been happening. They're playing well, but it's when they're missing or okay, when, when on they're that. not capitalizing okay. on Capitalize opportunities on that. that have really put them into uh, a, right. the difficult situation that they're in in the overall standings. That said, Team Canada still needs to execute here. The good news for Canada is their skips playing 100% on takeouts. You need it back? Yeah, I got it. So when they're using that cue, everything needs to be lined up pretty perfectly. So when it didn't feel right, very wisely, Mark Idison reset himself, reset the cue, and it's contact point with the handle on the rock. for uh, not the perfect execution. It's not exactly how they drew that up. You can just draw all the way down that to it. Ended up do being that? a really solid shot for Canada. Look at that situation. It is now wide open in front of the rings. Canada's got three rocks in, and USA's got that one lone little rock that could easily be removed from play if Kirk Black doesn't put this rock in a good spot. He should know the weight. 
He's going to need, obviously, more than his last stone. Line looks pretty good. Looking to sit in the rings. You're coming. Yeah. Come on, keep walking. 1346. Come on. Freezing right down and onto sit. the I'll Canadian sit. stone is fine. not a bad option. Perfect. And that rock sits in a <coughs> excellent spot for USA. My shot. Now you got to wonder, does Canada still have no, access? No. They're like sitting shot one right now. You got to get enough of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Or I think you or can get by. Draw. If you come in with enough, hey, just wait a for a draw. Try to tap back now. So now I don't this think is a risk reward situation. Enough. Managing the risk just versus the, the reward. Middle of 12. I think. Canada so sitting one right there. now. So they're scoring one. If they can somehow get rid of the USA rock, they could get up to four. But if anything goes wrong and USA should steal another point, uh, you'd be down by four points. <clears throat> so Canada's going to elect to play the draw shot. Try and land another stone into that one foot circle with the Agitos symbol on it, the three Agitos. So this last shot of the third end. Canada looking to make some impact on the scoreboard. Girl. This stone, the weight is very close, but sits just a little short. Now it, athletes are going to take a look again. Really? Hard to say again. It's really slowed down. Right? Maybe. Maybe. Gee. Need to do this. I'm gonna have to measure on it. I need to do it. We had enough cracks at that. It all depends on the camera. I'm gonna say red, but isn't that the way I said last time? <laughs> and you were right, though. <laughs> yeah. Don't listen to her. Yes, please, yes. It all depends on the pinhole. You gotta do it, Anna. I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> Uh, so USA <laughs> is apologizing for requesting the measure. The Canadians, not yeah. by you guys. So the Canadians are nice folks. So the other Canadians. <laughs> so if I'm right again, what does that, that mean? Wave at them. Yeah. What do I owe you? Yeah, what are you? You guys got the last one. So as you can see, that's that close. logo. I think, I think the three agitos in the <laughs> one-foot circle. It's quite the contingent up there. Yeah, what would your team say if you did that? like... Exactly. <laughs> you can see the, the motto of the Paralympics is spirit in motion. And I think these curlers, they have a great camaraderie. They have a great spirit. And you can see it definitely in motion here in this situation. Gotta try. So those rocks what? are so Too close, close <laughs> that they if can't quite decide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two strikes. Oh, for two, two huh? Two strikes and three ends. Then maybe you better start listening to her. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. I know my place. She, she'd have one. We'd have one on the forefoot. Y'all be on the So the there's that dial. You talk them into it. <laughs> so it's a pressure gauge. <clears throat> As it comes across it's the right. stone, you can see it touches the stone, moves that dial. And whichever one moves the most is the closest yep. to the center. Oh. <laughs> Canada yep. won't be measured for the second end in a row. Uh, and with that, yeah, yeah. They're red. We're yellow. Canada's on the board. I had to do it. It was too close. I mean, it wasn't beautiful. Okay, yeah. All right. Got right. We're up two. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Well, I'm winning there anyways. 
We had enough cracks at her. <laughs> and there we have it. After three ends, USA three, Canada one. Canada will start us off in end four. Taking a look at these stats, Canada's draw percentage, the overall draw percentage, much lower. They have been playing uh, all week at a, at a bit higher percentage than tonight's game. Their draw percentage for the rest of the week yeah. has been 56%. They're now down in the 30s. And they were discussing a little bit about the speed of the ice tonight, that it's a little bit slower than it has been. I mentioned earlier at the start of this game that the humidity was up a little bit. So it's the highest humidity that we've seen throughout the week and that creates potentially a little bit of frost. Um, and that's the job of the chief ice technician, Mark Callen and the deputy chief ice technician, Perfect. Stefan Roethlisberger, and they're doing all they Go can Penny. to Full manage five. the speed of the ice, Full keep five. it as consistent as possible throughout the championship. But Weather is an overriding factor when it comes to uh, winter sports, even the indoor ones. Twelve five, beauty, Penny. Great wait, P-Ray. So USA has used this ploy a couple of times. They, they draw right into the side of the rings. Now, Canada chose to activate the free guard zone on Marie Wright's first rock. They put a rock in play. It's over that big hog line, but it's not all the way into the scoring area. So that rock, that first rock of Marie Wright's can't be removed. And if she can hit and roll behind it, it's going to be a real tough situation for USA. She accomplished the first part of that shot. She accomplished the hit. Yeah. No roll, but in control of the scoring area now. You can see the Canada Rock out front of the rings and one into the eight foot. Nice line. Yeah, Benny. That's a rotation run. Yeah, I know. So you can see that Very that nice. rock doesn't have much rotation. There you go, Penny. Worked out okay, though. Uh, sometimes when you don't put enough handle or rotation on the rock, okay. it oh, can way. lose its way down the ice. It can pick up a turn, go the other direction. It can overcurl. Weight can come off or speed can come off. That was a 13-3. How should we go that way? Yeah. We want to feel the center. So Canada electing to come around the short side of the center guard. So it's off on one side of the center line. And Canadian Vice Skip wasn't sure why they were playing the short side of the ice, wanting to give her second, Dennis Thiessen, as much room as possible to make the shot. Nice wait, Dennis. She needn't have worried. Let's go. He's found what his like. groove. Just a pinch less. So looking for a run takeout, hoping to get rid of both Canadian stones. Yeah. 
needed to curl a little bit more for that to happen or a little bit less. One of the challenges for these athletes is that in the sport of wheelchair curling, there is no sweeping. So when you have sweepers in the traditional format of the game, you are throwing to a window, an area of tolerance, and the sweepers are helping you make it perfect. So the athlete puts it close and the sweepers put it perfect. In wheelchair curling with no sweepers, the only one who can put it perfect is the thrower. Bring it up, buddy. And Dennis just puts a little too much momentum on that rock and it slides through the field of play. It just found a straight spot. This way. Just normal? Yeah, but this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So each time an a, a team gets Beauty. a miss, Got it. Very nice. they need to capitalize. You need to follow nice a miss with a make. Nice job, Dustin. Nice job. USA does a nice job there after the miss by the Canadian second. They followed up with a hit and roll and come underneath cover, and they're pretty happy with that. The only challenging scenario for USA is those rocks are in the center of the ice. They're blocking that forefoot area, the button, that all important closest to the center of the circle space. And if Canada can tuck a stone around there, hide one around, those center guards are all of a sudden, instead of looking very friendly to the USA, they're gonna be looking very challenging. Now this is the stone of Inez that has curled a little bye, bit more than the bye, other stones. Bye. And it just, just wrecks again. Heather yep. right wing, 11, seven, nine, yes. yeah. 11, seven, nine. You, know, you gotta hope that Team Canada, with their experience, that they're gonna pick up on yep. that stone. That at some point that they're gonna have the discussion, they're gonna okay. notice that they're really sharp shooting third player is having some uncharacteristic misses, but they are all the exact same way. And that's what's the telling factor there. That stone might be curling a little bit more than the rest of the stones on the sheet. in this fourth end. And because of that, now, now this is when you see the shift of tactics. Tactics shift. And they're going to employ a little bit of defense. And defense in the sport of curling is when you're removing a rock from play, when you're making your opposition's rocks uh, disappear. But if she gets the roll, she can play a little bit of defense and generate a little bit of offense with the same shot. Laser focus, settling breath. Just doesn't get to the stone. Yeah. I think you come in a little behind it. Well, then you don't want something for them to come down. Yeah, but down they still have this whole side to draw yeah. to. Yeah, but we haven't been out there yet. If he's going to draw there, he's going to draw we, there. So this situation kind of looking Kirk, what about if we just nose those Canada. yellows up top there and split those on? USA's got a couple of like different that. options. 
All right. All right. I think he knows it, then it. I don't like That's that. Fine. We'll go with this. Throwing out options. Three, four. So there's Steve Emp, super four, positive guy five. out four, there. Five. He he four, shares five. his thoughts without ego, puts it out there for his teammates to kind of say yay, nay, and then commits himself to the shot selection of a skip. Looking for a rock in the top 12 foot, trying to control fully this side of the ice. And one of the things that they said is that they hadn't been playing on the other side as much. So controlling this side is a much better option. Yep. Yep. Force Idison to the other yeah. side of the ice. But that rock comes up quite yeah. short of where they wanted yeah. it to be. I mean, that hidden roll is still yeah. there, but you've got to get something in there. So now there's a lot of traffic in front of the rings. Canada's got a chance here. And remember, Mark Idison has been throwing beautiful shots. Not getting the production out of his draws, but they've, they've been close. This is a chance. They can't talk to you, Dan. <laughs> This is a chance for Canada to come through and hide behind all of that yellow granite in front of the rings. Okay, Mark, you gonna bury one here? That's the plan. Rock coming in with a great trajectory. You can see it's trying to bend, hide behind. If it's got the right weight, it's going to be trouble for USA. And that's a good shot. He'd love it to have sat a little bit higher, but it was super important for Canada to get a rock in there. Force USA to make a really good shot here. And if he gets a little bit of a mistake, Canada might be off the hook. Bowman, Bob. Like a 12-2? 12-5. So USA's got a chance. They can come all the way down and tap that stone out of, from Team Canada. The other thing is if they sit a little bit short, if they just draw in, because remember, they're up by two points. So any kind of score moves the needle for USA even further. making sure everything is lined up with precision. So incredibly important in any target sport. Get around it. Now it's got to sit down. It's over curled, it's curled past, and it doesn't. Now look, all of a sudden the fortunes for Canada so Same much way. brighter. Exact weight he wanted to throw for Team USA skip just didn't yeah. have the right line. Are we shot, Mark? Are uh, we shot? It's close. Okay. So there's the head-to-head -head comparison. They are takeout artists tonight. And the edge going just to Team USA's leader right now on the draws. But this is an opportunity for Canada 
to sit one and two, it looks like. That stone's got quite a bit of pace on it. You can see that rotation. Oh, look at that. Just a little bit of a tick. Rolls in. Fantastic shot for Team Canada. Not how they drew it up on the that on the loaded, playbook, but knowing the tolerance, how to throw a shot, and how to get the most production. You got this. That lucky loony may have just come yeah. into play for go, we, we gotta, go Mark Idison and yeah, Team off, Canada. Yeah, hitting that red. Yellow, yellow. Yeah, yeah. To this one though. And yeah, to get to back that here. Red there. Yeah. Yeah, for one. Yeah. Yep. You gonna throw a heavy at it? Doesn't matter what way. Yeah, normal twelve. Normal twelve. Yeah. Okay. So now this is the kind of shot that Steve Emp loves. He's a math teacher. One of the things he fell in love with about curling is the angles, the math of the game, the geometry, the physics of it. And I was going to hope his skip, Kirk Black, shows him how those angles work, how that math comes into play in a positive way for Team USA. This is a game changer. This shot isn't made. Team Canada ties it up going into the break. Come on, Max. Curl up. Line looking Come close. Come on. Oh, Get that's it. close. Can we do it again? It's a good shot. Cuts Canada down to one, but one for sure. <laughs> Canada steals a point. One one red. Red. Yeah. That was really Third good rock awareness for, <laughs> for Team USA. Canada's got to feel pretty good after things looking a bit dire in that last end. Come away with a steal of one after some really good shots by the skip. It's three to two, USA over Canada. As we head into the break. So we'll take a look at where everyone sits statistically here at the fifth end break, at the fourth end break of this game. It's Four five players. minutes it me, it for the teams to confer with their coaches, their the alternate player. Line. Talk about Five what's going on, what's working for the team, what isn't. Yeah. Maybe discuss the ice conditions, the speed. Yeah, because yeah. So, I can only hope that Team Canada is talking a little bit about that stone that their third's throwing first. There's a look. Team USA having a solid game up and down the lineup. Stronger than their statistical average for the tournament. 
So they've got the lead. It's a single point. And USA is going <laughs> to have a little bit of uh, refueling. I mean, it's a long game. Keep it up. Keep putting that pressure, putting that pressure. Play smart. Get some encouragement well. from their coach. And again, get that input. What's working, the facts of the game, what people are seeing from the bench, and how that can be translated to on the ice. And see what the balance of the game is. USA really making those draws at a high proficiency rate. It's time for them to take advantage of their last stone again. Use that hammer. You can see, that's a look at the time clocks. Each team starts the game with 38 minutes. It's called thinking time. Your clock runs while you're thinking. So those discussions on strategy, what shot to play, the time it takes to run your setup, that's when your clock's running. You get 38 minutes, and if you run out of time, you lose. There is no, no break. No, that doesn't matter. We're not, that's not, okay. well, we need to make sure that we, we get uh, an opportunity to stay without having to travel back and forth. That's almost going to be a little shorter, but they have a little shorter, but why didn't they change back to the yard? Did you watch it? I know they said that at the team meeting. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that they're firing up. What do you want? Guard? Where's your water? and sets their game plan moving forward right away. So we're talking a little bit about their clock and, and their pace and how much time they've got left. You don't want to have, you don't want to rush at any point, but you want to play at a pace that allows you enough time to finish and throw your last stones without any kind of panic. There's our line score. USA open strong. Canada coming back in the last couple of ends. It's a great game. Back and forth. Battle of the teams from North America. Canada's yeah. clock's going. And they had just talked about time management. This is one of those things that when you are the lead who is having an outstanding game tonight, but Marie can't take any leisure with the clock. When you're the first player on its squad, you have to be ready and go as quickly as possible, saving time for your skip at the end of the game. Well, True to ahead. form in this session 11, Marie Wright throws a beautiful center line guard, bisecting that center line, creating a lot of traffic into the scoring area. And the battle at lead. Right on the numbers. So USA sticking with this 35. tactic of, of drawing to the wings. They're okay if it slips in. This one sits for a corner guard. So it, neither fine, one Marie. of those rocks okay. can be taken fully out of play by the opposition at this point. Free guard zone rule is, is in effect until the seconds stones. And Marie is going to look to take advantage of the center line guard she just threw. Wants to tuck this stone behind it. Right down into the forefoot. Might be a little short, but it's in a very usable spot for Canada. Remember, they've talked about the ice being a little bit slower in this session than the previous ones. So you gotta make that adjustment. Add a little bit of momentum or maybe add a bit more rotation to your rock. 
Very nice, Penny. Did you get the time? 12.15. So that is slower. So that 12.15 that they're talking about, that's the time the rock is traveling between the foul lines, between the hog lines. So you see they've all got stopwatches, and they're using them with regularity. This is, this is where Canada needs to pick it up. Dennis is having a bit of a struggle tonight. He needs to come out and uh, have a really strong second half and ease things up for his skip. Plug the hole. So USA is sitting count right in the center of the rings. There's lots of rocks in no. front. Plug in the hole. And Plug shark in the hole. shooting Justin Marshall's what being zone? asked to guard two. and access into there. No. I'm not sure the shot is guard. completely necessary for USA. It's really early in the end. They have the last rock advantage. And all of a sudden they're throwing guards in the center. I think they're like playing it. into Canada's hands a little bit tactically. Sit. Thirteen eight. That said, we're going to get to see how it Very works nice, out. Justin. That's a nice stone. As Justin makes it perfectly. So this is a very precision shot, high level of difficulty. It's a double raise. That rock wobbles a little bit, that extra momentum coming off of Dennis's delivery stick. The rock wobbles, might have a little bit trouble holding its line. But uh, still yeah. uh, makes an impression on the situation pretty significantly. Moves a lot of the rocks out of play. Halfway to the bumper. Go. Three, four. Right. Much more Three, open than the last time we saw this view. They're going to try and just sit in front of the rings, maybe bite the top of the scoring area. It's Get a rub. curling quite a bit. Get a rub. There you go. There you go. Gets a bit of a bounce. Yeah, and I think you can get there. He doesn't like your broom. And the skip's having a bit of a laugh, uh, share of information on the far end. Again, it's one of the great beauty components of the sport of curling. The fact that it's a non-interference team sport, just outstanding. It really is about being the best that your team can be in the moments that you're given and outmaneuvering tactically. So looking to be a, the best she can be. Ina's had a bit of a struggle tonight. You can see she's statistically down from her tournament average. Stone is traveling quite nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of rotation. That extra rotation is going to help it hold its line. But with that extra rotation and just a little bit extra weight, it does not catch the curl. So that's kind of an overcorrection. And again, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about those rocks, the rock, and maybe the uh -huh. fact that it's curling a little oh, bit more. Right? She's making overcorrections to her technique. Maybe we need a little more. Yeah. yeah. 
that's the way the stones they gotta go. So be better out wide than narrow. Exactly. Gotta get three So the team keeps asking for more ice. Uh, and when they want more ice, they're talking about a little bit wider space to aim at. So they need a little bit more space. They want to err on the side of positive tolerance. They Gotta don't want to wreck on the center guards again. Because it's okay if they Gotta sit go. out a little bit wide. This rock needs to go, though. Get over the line. It's Get over very the line. light. Yes. Now here's a chance for Ina for us. She's got two gold medals in this sport. She is a Hall of Fame player. She's a Hall of Fame member for Team Canada. She's one of the greatest players this sport has ever had. And she's got a chance right here to play the exact same shot down the same path. And if anyone can make the adjustment, she can. But this one's doing the same thing. It's running just a little bit heavy. 13. Yep, yep, I got it. Got it. That is so frustrating as an athlete where you're just not connecting to what you know you're capable of doing. Three, four. Three, four. She's going to shake it off. <laughs> She's experienced. She knows how to handle this. Now let's see if Steve Emp knows how to handle it. Remember, he just missed. He had a big miss on the last one. So now this adjustment is going to come in. This is for sure in play. Come on. Oh, oh. Flirting with it. But just, just over that line. Ah, uh, three feet over. Same, I think the same draw. <laughs> same draw? So USA seems to be happy with just taking a single point at this one, or protecting and guaranteeing their single point. It might be a little bit more aggressive since they've got the last stone advantage, that hammer. They might have been able to, uh, might have been willing to go right down in there. Thirteen, even just get in there. Hold them to one is fine. I don't know if it curls that much. Can't go the other way. I'll just draw one in anyway. So Anna checking out the other side. Remember, all the laser focus has been on this left side of the sheet. She's just making sure they're not missing something over on the other side. Always a good thing to do. Sometimes you get dialed in on one side, in one type of shot, in one mm -hmm. kind of situation in the sport. Either that or we peel that one and make them throw the guard again. Ah, uh, no, I don't like that. Whatever you're talking about, boy. Just throw it, Mark. I gotta burn a timeout. Okay. We gotta burn one. Okay. Timeout. So, Team Canada utilizing the single timeout that they've got. This is a great moment. He felt doubt. He felt not confident in the shot selection, not happy with the scenario. Need a little more time. It's hard enough to make shots you believe in. I was thinking maybe peel this one and make him throw it again. What's that? I was thinking maybe peel this one and make him throw the guard again. You just don't want to have it go on to any of those, right? Or even right? if we nose that one, we could make the we could make the double. Yeah, I don't want to put them on. Well, no, I'm not. I'm throwing weight at it. I'm yeah, not. Yeah, then we're we're still sitting there. Well, except I open it up. Or we run that, or we run that one in. I think we just need to get one on. What's that? I think we just need to get one on. I mean, if it's coming this way, instead of trying to make that hole, whatever, but I think we need one on. 
But I think you know the weight this way. I don't think that's yeah. a guess, isn't it? Just gotta get through that. Uh, what do you think? I don't know, just the clock was ticking and I was thinking maybe peel this one and make him throw it again. Well, we've got to take a run at that one time or another, yeah, so something's yeah. got to go. I think we've got to go in. And we've got to find a way in there, because there's no other way. Well, we're, gonna... we're only going to be second shot, right? By drawing, so we've got yeah. to... We're going to probably it. throw. I think we've got to peel something. Okay. This one or the middle one? Well, which one can you get at? You get at either one. You, can you get both of those on the peel? Or if you run that red, is there a chance if you run that in, you'll, I think, you'll pick it out? I think if I try to peel both of those, I kick one on. What about if you run yeah, it in? Or, well, I could um, run it in. What do we try to There are times six. Well, how about play the run through, and if we pick this one, then that's that's That's, that's, fine. A, that's a bonus. <clears throat> Okay, so at the conclusion of that timeout, I'm not sure that Canada made a, a ton of progress. Remember that doubt? It didn't really feel like everyone was on the same page at the end of that. Coach Wayne Keel had a couple of options that he brought out there. I think it was really good that he knew that his skip wanted to throw a takeout. And kind of play into that. to run this yellow stone back and pick the USA stone yeah. off the center of the rings. He's close. Oh, just missed it. Can you get there now? We can throw it up there. Yeah, okay. wouldn't hurt. This way you want to come. This Out way. Turn. Yep. The hole there. What's that? There's a hole through there. There's a hole through there? Yeah. 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 Plug it up. No I'll two. turn. I'll turn. Tap. Yep. So USA two, taking no chances here. Zero risk. They know their skips playing better than he has been the whole tournament. They're going to count on him making that last one for their second point. And with his first one, they're going to block the hole. Put another guard out there on the center line. Really limit the access. Try and remove it 100% from Team Canada. Rub off the red is fine. And that over curls, and if Mark there was a hole there. there before, it is still there. So, no, no, Ina, the one in the house. What? The it's one in the house. It's open. I'm going for this one. Yeah. yeah. So, setting the target. Canada definitely worried about their time clock. They are for sure rushing. You can see they've got four minutes less than USA at this point. Trying to navigate a difficult port. Line looks close. Curl. Oh, nice shot, oh Absolutely nice perfect. Shot. What a shot. Oh, what a shot. And there it goes. Just. You got is it, it gonna, Oh, you got it. how does it even? It might even have just touched that stone. Holds the line, gets through that port. Now USA Skip's going to have to do the same. You can see it. It's, it's not a lot of space. 
but we know it's possible. Hold. This one's nope. curling a ton. Just a difference of what side of the line you're on. One red. And with that, two misses from one USA red. at the end of and that end. Down. And a great shot from the Canadian skip. And we are all tied up after five ends of play. <laughs> oh, man, that just, just like. <laughs> Lots of room. Lots of room. <laughs> and there it is. 3-3 three, three. going into the sixth end. Statistical edge still to Team USA. You can't tell that from the scoreboard, though. We are all tied up. It is a fantastic match. And the 57-year-old lead from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. She's having a great game. Such confidence, complete precision, splitting that center line, puts the guard out in front for Team Canada. USA, they can't remove that stone from play. They can move it around though. They can tick it and split off break. the center line. That's a real good outcome for oh, USA. They've got their corner guard and they move the Canadian Rock off the direct center line. Got a penny. Absolute dream game for Marie Wright so far. That puts a tremendous amount of pressure on USA. Look at that lineup. So, USA's Sorry. lead's gonna try and keep the battle going here. Draw underneath her corner guard. It seems to be over curling. Okay. Weight was really close. Center line. Didn't have the right line. Do you still want to touch the red one? Dennis's rock comes down and Skip said we just don't want to touch the red one. Okay. And it ends up being okay. It's really, it was perfect weight. That is a great shot from Dennis Thiessen. Really consistent kind of crotch placement those? there from the rock. What's that? Are you trying to crotch those or what's no. up? Run this one, clear this one. Run it or clear it? Just yeah. here. Nose it? I like that. Just off nose. That's going to take off. 
So trying to open up or run this stone back. It's kind of an all or nothing shot. You either make it and you pick the one off the rings or you sit there and now all of a sudden your own rock is guarding the Canadian stone. If Dennis has found his groove right yes, here in this end, control. USA is going to pay for that shot selection. Yep. It's a much wider line. You can see that there. I did not want to move, Dennis. I did not want to move. I don't understand it. <laughs> if you. Can't nose, can't nose it. We gotta peel it. So you just want to catch this it. a little bit. I don't think it moved. If it did, it was just slightly. You gotta be on this side of the stone. So it's one of the challenges: finding your space, navigating uh, for the skips, settling in. You just want to nick that yellow and hit them both out, right? Yeah, you gotta hit this side of it. Yeah. So, but the yeah, great buddy. sportsmanship saying, you know, I think I moved that stone. It didn't impact it over much. And Team Canada says, no problem. There you go. Looking for Good the night. double peel. This rock needs there you to go. hold That's this beauty. line. And USA gets. Very nice, Justin. Very nice, Justin. Fantastic Eight. action Eight off more. that double peel. And all of a sudden, they've got three rocks in the rings. <laughs> Things looking much better for USA. Canada still the shot stone okay. in the rings. <laughs> There it is. It's the one lone stone what? sitting in the eight foot. His guard comes down the ice. That's sitting quite long, but again, got about half of it. Visual impediment. Got half of it. Is that, or you run this yellow back on it? No, no, no. No, I said we go after it. If you're narrow, you peel off the guard. Yeah, sweep it right on the yellow. If, we, if nothing else, we'll peel the red. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really good input from Steve Ant, the third for USA. That was the the B option. I don't know that. To peel that we center need guard. One in here. It's still a lot of pressure Can for I Canada. Come off this one, Ina. And their skip recognizing that they need to get another rock in the rings. Sometimes the best guard is his second count. This kind of a shot here, you can run into your own rock, you can tap it a little bit. It gives you a, a window to which you can throw. And that 
is well placed. USA might have to run their rock in now. Just knows it. They're going to go for the single hit. When uh, the players say they want to hit right on the nose, they want to hit absolutely square, which hitting round things, hitting round things squarely is a pretty significant challenge. Stay there. Stay there. Don't want to hit that last red rock at all. That over curls and really changes the fortunes for now Team USA. Now, now you can see just ticks the red stone and sends the shooter off trajectory and takes momentum off that rock. And now Canada sits one behind cover. And I think their third shot as well in the back of the Got rings. One in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Remember, Canada is navigating that time clock. They are. They are looking at it. They are, Sorry, guys. and every time they've got a reset, that pressure gets amped Burn up. Time. They can see their clock ticking. Still plenty of time, but they know it's going to be tight. draw coming into the house it's got great line if it's got the right pace it's a lot of trouble shot mark. hangs around back there it doesn't change the, the outcome yep. over much they were third shot already make that broom yep you got it buddy you know the time, knock it down. And the booming confidence of Steve Ent back to his skip. So everything's lined up behind that dominant eye. Target sport. Really athletic body positioning. Come on. Work, 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 work. More. More. Wanting it to curl. They know it's a bit heavy. Too much momentum there. <laughs> After a bit of a shaky start for Canada, they are coming on strong. This one runs a little long. You sit on this one right here with shot, Kirk. Yep. 
So Canada sits one right now. Twelve five should do it. USA skip needs to be full into the eight foot to score a point. You just threw. Should know this weight. He's got to make the adjustment. A little bit less pace on this rock. That's it. Easy, easy, easy. Just like this right here. Stay right there. Stay right there. And again, just eight feet too much weight. Just one red right here? One red? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give you just one. <laughs> one red. And uh, Canada steals again. Okay, we got, we got four and a half. Two Lina? Get it back. One. Four. Four. <laughs> yeah. And for the first time this game, Canada moves into the lead in the pivotal sixth end. how many shots you make it's when you make them and right now Canada is making their last shots every single end in three four Same five and game. six yeah. Yeah. Every game. We're down to a minute. putting so much pressure on USA skip and it's all starting right here with the rock positioning from Marie Wright. Like those last few shots. Just rushing. And even though we sometimes forget about these rocks by the end of the end, and it's and it all comes down to the skips, final stones. These setup stones make such a difference for the team in building its confidence and creating the game plan. USA looking for a corner guard here, where again they air to the. 11, nine. It's okay to come in the rings here. Nice stone, Penny. We've seen Very this nice set up a couple times. Yeah. Now that they've got one. the one point oh, lead nice. for sure, oh, yeah. Canada's going to hit this. Nice job. generate enough momentum to hit. This is a big roll. Hangs on, gets rid of the USA stone. Shooter rolls out of play. Canada's okay with that. They're okay not having rocks in play. Remember, they've got the lead. Did not touch, okay. Hold a little bit. Come on, Penny. And that oh. rock curling quite a bit. That's far to the outside of the rings. It may come into play. You can still hide something behind it, but you can see it's the short part of the rings. It's the narrow part of the rings that USA would have to hide behind now. It's a little bit more challenging and really haven't had a lot of action out to the wings in this game. Everything's been centered around the forefoot, coming underneath center guards. Who's got the draw weight? Who can get through the ports right down the center? And in the last couple of ends, that's 
Yeah. All Team Canada. You got it, Justin. All day. All night. Go. Going to try and take advantage Check of that up. miss Check Check by up. Dennis Thiessen, the Canadian right second. And draw underneath those center guards. Nope. Yeah, a little run there. Right. In there Dennis. Real steady play from Justin Marshall continues. Puts that rock right into the scoring area, just in the back of the eight foot. part of the lineup this is where USA really needs to try and take advantage they're statistically outplaying their opposition by quite a bit so the struggles for Dennis continue let's go Slides it. just passed. A little too much momentum. We got this. Come on, Justin. Just past the USA stone. It's a little bit narrow. Doesn't love it. This one needs to hold the line. Is it going to get past the guard? No, he was in. Yeah, that's my fault. Yeah. Nope, that's 100% my fault. Penny. Yep, 13-4. So what they talk about what went wrong there. Penny was worried they might not have had enough ice. The second says, no, I was narrow. Because it's really important when a team misses to get as much information, pull as much as they can. Not not be like too side? judgmental about the outcome, but just take the facts of the shot. What do you, what do you like? To make sure you make the next you shot decide. perfectly. Pick one. No, no, no. <clears throat> just hit it. Yeah. So after some discussion, like, no, let's not uh, monkey around here. No need to overthink this. Let's just knock that stone out of play. but rolls out. Yep. So statistically, that's a uh, judge on a scale. That's a 50% shot. So, and this yep. gives USA a chance to draw <laughs> in behind. Over the quarter. Devamped. Really steady game. Opportunity for USA to get back into a control position on the scoreboard with a couple of successful shots. Remember, they've got that last stone advantage here. This has got a nice line coming in. Great weight. Great shot, Steve. Sets up in a really good position. You can see it's, it's behind the guards. They're staggered guards. Canada cannot run those shots in. He wants it to curl. He's telling it, go, 
go to the but right. If you come this way at it, like and it does. Get rock over. Get rock over. How much can you see? Yeah. Well, maybe half. So you you like to draw? I think so. So this is a situation where they don't have, they can't see all of that rock. They're not going to waste a stone. Canada's got the lead. They're okay if they give up one and get that last stone advantage back for the final end. But they're going to put the pressure on USA by choosing to draw in there. And if they can put a stone into a control position, a scoring position, tucked in behind all those other rocks, Maybe they'll steal and take a two-point lead into the last end. And Stone needs to go a little bit. Ends up sitting up short, but good spot. <clears throat> you go here, or you could just get rid of this. I don't like getting rid of that. You either get rid of it or you guard it. I, either guard, I think it's either guard it or draw. I don't like getting rid of it. I, don't I think like we guard it. Guard. Guard yeah. it. Okay, so USA has done this a couple of times where they choose the guard. They've got the last stone. Go wrong with that. And they're blocking maybe their own way, their own access. They don't love that. It's curling. It's curling. The Canadian stone. Oh, this is a time for a timeout. USA is not on the same page. Their skip is not pleased. This would be an ideal opportunity for a timeout. Just reset yourself, chat with your coach. I mean, this is, there's 40 meters between these athletes, between the skip and their teammates on the far end of the ice. Easy. You're all right, I'll wait. You're fine, I'll wait. Easy. Sit Building there. that connection, and when you ever Sit feel there. it slipping away, you gotta right really there. fight Beauty. for it. You gotta fight for the communication, yep. fight for the connection. And that's an okay shot. It's it creates some traffic in front of the ring, enough. some congestion up there. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's also in the way of USA if they need to somehow get through there. You're gonna just try and tap that one or yeah. okay. Better to be out there. And all of a sudden, Canada comes in, blocks the access. Okay, that's good. Nice wait. Makes the uh, rings a yeah, little bit smaller. Board. Yep. That'll go you out a little board. wider. <clears throat> it's time for this man to step up for his team. It's time to create a multiple point scoring opportunity. USA is sitting one. They are count one right now. They've got two rocks left. Canada only has one. So these two-on-one situations here, when you've got control of the scoring area, you've got to take advantage of these opportunities. And the USA skip, he is absolutely capable. He has had some amazing games. And remember, this is his first Paralympic Games. He has not been doing this for very long. And to be playing at this level, extraordinary stuff. This is a little light. 
I just don't over curl. Still blocks the blocks the access in there. Can I get the four foot? So the stone needs to say, you heard Mark say, I'm over the line. You've got those red lines, you've got a center line and some red lines down the side. That stone, when it starts for these athletes, has to stay inside those 18 inch lines off the center line. Otherwise it's a fouled stone it does, and it gets pulled from play. Looking to tap those stones. And we know he can navigate these ports like nobody's business. Oh, oh good try, Mark. Just had, nice try. didn't have quite if enough I weight hit that red, to we'll make the two. shot. Let's but do that. really good yep. attempt. Kirk. Is it gonna jam? You gotta get to the nose of it, though. Yeah. That's fine. Can't it here. So there's, there's a no easy way into that scoring area for USA. They're gonna play a little bit of a risky shot here. They're going for the hit. And if this rock should run straight, it could jam onto the USA stone. But this is the best, easiest option to get into the eight foot. Come on, work, 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 more, more, more. There you go. And it's well executed. USA has to feel a, quite job, a lot Skip. of relief to get back on One the scoreboard. Two. Two. And they do it in a timely manner. Seventh that end. Room place, it was unbelievable. They score two points and move back into the lead. We're heading into the eighth end. USA up by one. Canada's going to see what they can do with that last stone advantage. kind of holding to pattern here statistically. It's been that way throughout the game. And there it is. USA opened with a strong two points and then the momentum shifted to Canada. Taking one, stealing, stealing, stealing. USA Four came five. back with two points in the seventh end and they're gonna get us started here in the eighth and final end. USA is okay if this rock goes all the way into the scoring area. They don't need the free guard zone to be activated right away. Canada's not going to take any chances. They're not going to leave anything sitting around the rings. And the way Marie Wright's been playing, you can call any shot. She's making them all tonight. Oh, and it's the commentator's curse. Yep. yep. Go. 
she gets a that's a pretty big miss given the timing of this. Now you gotta wonder if that time clock isn't a factor for Team Canada. It's starting to tick down a little bit. They're close on time. They still have enough, but they're close. No real cushion. There you go, Penny. Nice job, Penny. And Penny very confidently splits the rings. USA sitting two. Now Marie gets to switch back to the draws. She's been playing those at a 75% success rate. Very steady. This has great line. If it's got the legs, if it's got, oh, it needs to go. Just sits a little bit short. That's on. You want to you wanna bang it? Yeah. Which way do you want to take it? This way. Take it the over. other way. Take it the other way? Yeah. Right, we have a better chance the other way. Penny, shh, okay. please. <laughs> you got it, boys. You got it. Come on. So this is uh, just trying to peel that stone out of the rings. Ah, they just tick it over a bit. Sticks around. And that's potentially a game winning point stuck over there on the biting on the side of the rings for Canada. If anything happens that the USA stones start to disappear that could be their second count point and a game winner. Which is why USA wanted to remove it. Kind of inarguably having a tough game. There's an opportunity here for Dennis to wipe all that away with a beautiful freeze in the eighth end. Talk about timing. Couldn't that, be though. better. You wanna go that this way? is super tough. You like this way? Uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, I if like we come this, this way. way, just broom it so we cross over. We go this way. Let's go this way. Okay. Okay. You want 13? So those are the angles. USA needs to knock this stone, hit on the outside edge. Remember, Justin was a little bit Stay narrow down. the last time he threw in this path. And a little Stay bit down. narrow right now. Nice shot, Deadly. Justin. Nice shot, Justin. No problem. Absolutely perfect. And that's a sigh of relief. He knows how big that was. Thing. Knows how big. Missed his first shot in the eighth and followed up a beautiful shot from the Canadian second with a really solid takeout. <laughs> the best shot of the game happened just a second ago for Dennis Thiessen. He wants to replicate it right here. This one's got a lot of curling to do. Twelve two. Perfect weight. No, it's open. No. It's just there. Let's go the other way. Why? We can go this way if you like. Whatever you want. I like this way. Okay. Lots of rocks building up in the rings. Normal. Normal. You 
They're on 12? Yep. Now it rolls to the other side of the rings. Those rocks that are behind the T-line, though, that's places for Canada to see. You can see Mark Idison wastes no time. USA Stone moves the Canadian Stone and rolls to behind the T-line on the other side of the ice. Canada's going to try and use, they're not afraid of these USA Stones. They're going to use the USA Stones to their advantage. They're going to try and freeze right down squarely on the face of the USA Stones. And that's a look at the time clocks. Canada, 2.21 for their last three stones. Plen it's, it's, a, it's enough time, but again, no cushion there whatsoever. And Ina puts a good shot, Ina. Good shot into the ring. So you can see that is going to be tough to get rid of. There is a very yep. small margin of error yep. for the USA yep. third. Bounce it off of any of those stones. Nice weight. Right through the hole. Nice shot, Steve. Canada still got the same situation. Yeah, no Sorry, bud. Here we go. Here it curls. Just enough of that object rock. He's thrilled. So the situation actually is the same for Ina. She gets to throw this rock again, the exact same place. She's gonna hope that it sits squarely frozen onto the USA stone. Yeah, yes, it's in and down. He's only got a minute 48 for two shots. Line looks really good. If it's got the weight, Oh, even better than her last one. There's less space. That is a beautiful shot. Would it be easier to punch it this way? Huh? Would it be easier to punch it out that way? I don't think so. Okay. okay. So smart choice here by the skip. He's going to punch it That's to the short side of there. the rings. His team asked if they could go the other way. The other way means that if you were to run into something, it's got to bounce all the way seven or eight feet across the rings instead of just two or three on the short side. Smart choice by the USA skip. You can see the difference, the long way or the short way. sudden all the USA stones yeah. created enough traffic that with that jam on, yeah. just a hair more right okay. yeah. it's maybe a game winning situation for Canada they hit and roll to the opposite side of the rings USA might have to freeze 
time here, Mark. Make sure you get it. And at only a minute left, there won't be much time to discuss. His next shots. Shot marked. Stay here now. Nice job, Mark. Oh, that is a peach. Clock ticking. Pressure on. Stick. Canada sitting one it. and you two. Call, let's call time out. Right, yeah, go ahead. Time. Even if they know us, then they're not going to be second down anymore. We know it, and then they know us. So USA is using their timeout. It's a tough situation that they're managing here. Their coach Rusty Shibers can come out and have a chat with them, go through some of their options. We have a timeout. If you try to get cute here, we might have to this What are we going to do? Yeah, I mean, we're up one. When we try to get cute with that, we crash, game's over. But if we hit this, we hit this right here. We if can he double knows him, it. But at least well, he, if he knows it. What are you thinking? Well, so you got. If he just knows this. You uh, only got a minute to tell me. Yep. We got If we knows it, then uh, then we'll be sitting. They'll be sitting one. They'll have to draw for two, two to win. If uh, if you hit it offside, you might be able to double them out. I don't think we go after this one at all. I think we just hit this and make them work for the two. Pretty easy shot, but can you guys snuggle up to this one on the inside? I mean, basically, it's a draw and a freeze. No, it's not going to get past that. So what do you think about that? I think, right? With this here, I think that's going to be tough, Rusty. Yeah, it's not going to cross. Finish is pretty hard. Okay. We just I mean, we could, we could try it because we'd always, we can always get a, a nick here and a roll in, too, if you wanted to do that. You got 10 seconds. Okay, I tell you what, if, if you're comfortable with the take, I mean, you're going to have to throw that, throw the he shot you're comfortable that. with. Yeah. I think it's the take. Yeah, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. I like it. All right, you got it, buddy. So after running through a couple options with their coach, they ended up deciding that they're going to hit and try and stay right on the nose there, block the way into the forefoot. If USA has been paying attention, they know that Team Canada has a short time on their clock. And the Canadian skip has had a little difficulty executing his draws tonight. So they're willing to risk it. They know they're looking at game no matter what. First goal for USA is to Take the rock on the center, out of play. Stay, Stay. Stay right Stay. there. Stay. 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 Sit. It's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it rolls over. Sloppy are, there. Are we shot? Yes, we're shot. We're That's shot. Just a draw. Just a draw. draw? We're shot, Ina. Okay. Ina, I like the out turn. This way? The out turn. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> Canada's got a shot for the win here. 12 and a half, hey guys. 20 seconds to get the rock off. Everything's set well. And that rocks away. This is for the game. Whether he makes it or not, Canada scores a single point and ties it up. But with a well-executed draw to the center of the rings here, Canada could have the win. Do they have it? Did they get it? No, just short. And we played eight to get back to where we started. <clears throat> All tied up. We're going into an extra end. 
free curling. There it is after eight ends. Knotted up, 5-5. Five, five. What a great battle happening here on Cheap B. These stats don't matter. They don't matter anymore. It's all tied up. That's the line score. You can see Canada had an opportunity for the win in that eighth end. Their skip coming up just short. Their goals are pretty clear here, though. They're going to need their hot shooting lead to stick to form, put a couple of guards up. trying to position themselves to steal again. Now they've done it multiple times this game. We know they're capable of it. This stone's gotta go. Does it have the momentum? Oh, just no disastrous timing. Throw it through. Wide the middle. Throw it through. One out though. I think you go here. Wide the middle. Throw it through. Go Why here. not go out? We wanna keep the middle open, we got a hammer. There we go. We finally get from right. Steven. If we go here, the and then they don't open, put up a center guard. That is good news right. here for the USA. Got it. Yes. 12 and a quarter. So this is one of those scenarios where, you know, you're not anticipating Canada missing like that. And, I mean, it's really unusual. Oh, easy. Easy. And it created a bit of confusion like for USA, and they weren't really on the same yep. wavelength fine, there. And, uh, you know, Penny Greeley significantly overthrows that rock. So is this an, a bit of an overcorrection or is it perfect? Oh. It's perfect. So that rock sitting where it is, it you cannot be removed from play. Not until the seconds come up. And this is a lead stone here. So Penny being asked to throw that draw again. This one looks... Gotta go. Go, 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 a little go, bit go, better go, go, weight. 13 2. Maybe a little okay. light. And it okay. nuzzles up right next to the Canadian stone. This has been an outstanding game. Back and forth. Lots of great made shots, and we saw Dennis finally find his groove at a well-timed eighth end with some excellent draws. Canada's looking for it again here. This is curling a ton. He's already over the center line. That's okay. More center guards for Canada means some place for them to hide. USA is going to try to eliminate a couple of these stones. Feel it? Yep. throws that maybe a hair wide 
kicks the top stone, just ticks it Doesn't and sends it into rock, the ring. Right? Yeah. You can see the lineup now. Canada sitting count, biting in the eight foot. There's a couple of center guards. They're gonna try and come around it. This may be uh, USA getting punished a little bit for drawing into the center of the rings when they have hammer. Creating some congestion in front of the rings. <coughs> that stone in the top of the eight foot bounced off the USA stone that was sitting in the front of the rings. That USA stone's not there. That can't happen. Drop one in. That was 11 8 right there. 12 and a quarter will be good. So, USA shifting tactics. They tried the peel, it didn't quite work out. So, they're going to try and get a rock undercover in that scoring area, right in the center of the house. Justin's thrown quite a few draws today. He's at 64% for his draws. 12-7. And that is light. Canada can sink one in here. USA chasing. <clears throat> Just a reminder on the standings. USA has had a bit of a struggle. They sit down in 11th place of 12 teams. Only one win so far. Canada up, tied for third place with a couple other nations. They've got four wins. A win here would be so vital to guaranteeing and securing their place in that post round robin play. And that rock right there, you Feel can it? see it is yep. causing USA a ton of trouble. Canada owns He's both ways 13, into the right? forefoot now. <laughs> that might be shot rock. Look at this. Curls right to the inside. Tucks around the guard. No problem. Into the rings. Bing, there, bang. There and that might be a big boom if USA is shot. Canada isn't going to worry over much about whether or not that's happened. Like the top? Just try it. We always got that. We've got that for later, eh? The draw is absolutely accessible. Ina just threw down this path. They know exactly what it looks like. She should know the weight. A little bit more momentum. That's the target, that brush out on the edge of the 12 foot. That's where she's aiming right now. <clears throat> really steady base, lots of power from the upper body comes right through that cue and into the rock. Momentum travels down the ice and this rock starts to curl. And tuck right in, into the scoring area. Oh, that's a nice shot. Right in the forefoot. It's half in the forefoot. 
I had 12 Tucked too on that. Cover. Yep. Yep. Twelve four, maybe? I think twelve two is fine. Twelve two. 12, two. Yeah, it's about the same weight. Yeah. Come right down, sit on it. You don't need to be short. Nope. So the same ice. USA went to school on Skip Mark Idison's ice. They're following it down. This one yeah. looks like a little light, and it picked yeah, up the curl up, yeah. early. Whoa. USA was a little careful on that shot. Right there, right? There, right? Just gotta make sure you can't get around. A little farther little, up. No, 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 less, less. Yeah, right there. So Canada sit shot one in the back of the forefoot. There is a wall of granite lined up in front of it. They're gonna look to tuck another one. Mm -hmm. Top of the forefoot take con full control of the scoring area and set themselves up for a steal here. <coughs> yeah, that's the plan. So no need to rush now. So this is this counterclockwise rotating shot. He's thrown nine of them. This is the 10th one of the game. This stone is curling hard as well. Kind of come up short. All right, here's the chance. Whichever skip gets to the four foot first is gonna win this game most likely. Canada blinked a little bit. Can Kirk Black answer? Drop it in, Ma. It's got real slow. So they're talking about the speed no. of the ice? Oh. No. This more. is definitely not Metal. Kirk's favorite rotation. His in turn or the clockwise rotating shot, a little bit higher accuracy. All day. So as these athletes talk about the speed of the ice, it has a lot to do. They're the last game left. This was a full house earlier. Four sheets of play and all of a sudden the athletes are all gone from around them. The ice conditions change. This looks light as well. Just no chance on that. Oh, and with that tick, really gonna be tough to get in there now. Canada. Canada's got a chance. Look at this, that is super hard for USA to get into that forefoot. Canada sits right where the third's broom is. Time mark. USA may is that hole big enough? May not yeah. have. Is that big I think I'd rather leave them the hole. Okay. Oh, way in there. But I think I'd rather leave them the hole. Okay. Okay, that's a good plan. You go even tight to the house, eh? Hey? Yeah. So this is the last shot of an outstanding match for Team Canada. 
They're sitting count in the rings right now, and they're looking to just block USA's access. This rock traveling a little bit further than they would like. Oh no, sitting in the back of the forefoot, that might give USA an easier shot than they had before. We have a timeout. How much today you got? We got a timeout too. You got, if you move your stone out to the 18 inch line, you got about a third of it. Okay. With the 12, you could probably get. 12 will get over. 12 will get over. A little more, and I'll throw just a little less weight. Okay. You got your extra timeout too. Yep. Okay. Now we got the shot. He's got it. All right. So this is the chance. Little bit of a window given to Team USA and this skip Kirk Black. The game is on the line. He's looking for a little bit of a takeout, a hit and flop. Canada's done all they can do in this situation. And now they just have to wait. Opportunity out there for USA. Rocks past the guard. Did it curl enough? Did it get shot? No. Close. They did not. And Canada's effort, just tenacious effort in this game. Stolen points, outstanding play. Canada takes the victory. Here are the results for this session. Stealing in the extra end. Showing a little bit of emotion for the first time tonight. The Canadian skip, Mark Idison. Pretty thrilled with that outcome. Canada knows how big that win was. Yeah, hugs all around. Just a tough, tough matchup. The organizing committee would like to thank our amazing volunteers for their time and dedication. USA gave it everything they had. They were inches away from winning in that next round. <laughs> experienced Canadian team knows they might have they, they, they might have snuck away with one there but a W is a W and that's the final score Canada 6 United States of America 5 Final stats. Maybe not the game that they normally have been playing all week. Canada pulls it out in the extra end. And the fortunes of USA go the way of the last stone. Just not quite enough production from that final stone. Puts them into a little bit of trouble. And that's it. Those stolen ends. Four points for Canada. Their thieving ways are what got them the win. And this is the Gang Young Curling Center. Started with four sheets of action. 
And it ended with our extra end here on Sheet B. At the end of the 11th session of play, Team Canada may not have brought their finest game out here, but their tenacity and determination absolutely brought them the win. They hung on there in the end, and the reigning Paralympic champions keep moving up the scoreboard, holding on to that spot in the semifinal where they are gonna hope to take their fourth gold medal in a row at these Paralympic Winter Games. USA brought all they had, it just wasn't enough in the end. Thanks for watching. Canada. Morning, everyone back home. Stay safe with the snow today. Hello, Melissa, Tanner, Tyler.
Miss Lyons, Joseph. <laughs> Sit. No, you're fine. Settle. Settle. Eight. You're fine. That's beauty, Justin. That's beauty. Okay. Nice job, brother. Shot on. Good shot, Kirk. Good shot. Two hundred. Great. Very nice, I know. Good line. Just need, just need four foot. So one yellow. One yellow. Yep. Right. Keep it clean. Give yep. him one. Give him two. Right. It's okay to give him two. Yep. All right, because we got the hammer in the fourth. Yep. All right, yeah. let's do this. You got a pen. Yep. Oh. Can I get a little more? It's good. It's good. Yes, Justin, beautiful. Eight, nine. <clears throat> You gotta get enough of it, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to measure, Anna. I hate to do it. We had enough cracks at that. It all depends on the camera. I'm gonna say red, but. Yeah, what are you? We you guys got the last one, I'm saying. It's too <laughs> close, yeah, I, think, I think it is, but I, we gotta do it. <laughs> it's quite the contingent up there. They use our um, crew is usually sitting there, but the Canadians. Yeah, well, yeah, then they went stolen, and probably. Yeah, because they're up in the rafters. Oh. <coughs> He's gonna go. Oh, it's so red. We could have had. Yeah. Yep. Not even close. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go. It's what you like. Cross a little bit. Cross a little bit. 
Have an offer. Okay. Okay. I'm Justin. Kirk, what about if we just nose those yellows up top there and split those on? Good, just keep it up. Keep it up. Keep putting that pressure, putting that pressure. Putting it. Play smart, play well. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Both of those on the field? Or if you run that red, is there a chance if you run that in, I, I think, you'll pick it out? I think if I try to peel both of those, I kick one on. What about if you run yeah, it in? Where, well, I could um, run it in. What do we try? There are times six. Well, how about. Play the run through, and if we pick this one, then that's that's. The thing. Curl. Oh. Nice shot, oh Mark. Nice shot. <laughs> What's that? Are you trying to crotch those or what's no. up? Run this one, clear this one. Run it or clear it? Just yeah. here. Nose it? I like that. You can't, nose, you can't nose it, we gotta peel it. So you just Mark, wanna I catch hit this it. this a little bit. I don't think it moved. If it did, it was just slightly. You gotta be. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna give you just one. <laughs> One red. One red. Stand Mark down for the take him in. Shot on Try, Mark. Nice try. Shot, Dennis. Still get that, though. Want to go? Nice shot, Steve. Take your time here, Mark. Nice 
Two to win. If, uh, if you hit it offside, you might be able to double them out. I don't think we go after. We could try it because we'd always we can always get a, a nick here and a roll in too. If you wanted to do that, you got ten seconds. Okay, I tell you what. If, if you're comfortable with the take, I mean you're. Got it. Got it. All day. This is the IBC Distribution Centre, Channel 5, International Commentary Sound Channel, for Television, Left Left Channel. Channel.